The Dream Catch is a book that I wrote about 20 years ago about fly fishing on the San Juan River. San Juan River is a tailwater that flows out of the Navajo Dam in northwestern New Mexico. It is a world-renowned tailwater. It's a tremendous trout fly fishing stream and people come from all over the world to fish there. So I wrote this book. Um, I spent a lot of time in the 90s fishing that river and I wrote this book about it and it is half novel and half instructional uh, fly fishing techniques for using on the San Juan River. So this is, I published the book as an ebook with Amazon.com. It's a Kindle ebook and this is the book as it appears on my Kindle app on my iMac. So I wanted to show you different parts of the book which you wouldn't be able to tell that was in the book because Amazon.com will let you read for free about three chapters but you don't get to see any of the appendices and that's what I want to talk to you about with this review. So we have this is the cover and then we're gonna go to table of contents. Table of contents is like the third page and all of the table of contents is in hypertext links. When I wrote the book I put in the hypertext links and so you can go anywhere in the book just by clicking on one of the links. Um, I want to just do, this is the first page of the table of contents, aquatic insects and I can show you, so I have drawings of a lot of the aquatic insects that are found on the San Juan River. This will just give you an idea of what's what's out there and um, then you can go back the Kindle app allows you to go right back to the table of contents from the upper left hand corner there is a, a little block with back in it and it'll bring you right back to the table of contents and then you can go to anywhere else in in the back of the book and I just wanted to show you that I I wrote this book when I graduated from um, well, master's degree in biology, so I got a little heavy duty and I got a little carried away, but I wrote some um, little explanations about the eye, the retina, neurons. Um, I have a little article on trout select selectivity. The uh, trout focus in on on one particular insect that's hatching, and they won't take anything else. You've got to match the hatch. You've got to have a fly in your fly book that is going to match the the flies that are coming off the water and uh, that's that's sometimes difficult to do but otherwise it's very hard to catch them and so I have a little article on trout vision, aquatic entomology I get into um, a, a considerable amount of aquatic entomology because that's what these trout are eating chronomids and caddisflies stoneflies and mayflies and also um, I think I have something on leeches and I have something on uh, the scuds that come off of there, the freshwater shrimp uh, all of those are flies that those um, trout are going to get excited about um, so I have that, I have a glossary I have um, bibliography but I wanted to show you the before I leave you and before I you're done with this uh, video photographs. I have a number of photographs in the back of the book. Some of them pictures of, of me catching trout. This is a nice rainbow trout, probably 20, 22 inches. And um, there's, there's a dam, um, the river. This is from the parking lot in the, in the, at, the, at the river. And then I have a number of people, myself and a few friends, um, catching um, with our rainbow trout. Most of the time that's what you're going to catch there. There are some brown trout in the lower stretches of the river, but um, yeah, I catch those once in a while. Then this is the Navajo Dam and the, uh, like I say, the river flows out of the bottom of the Navajo Dam, so it's tailwater. It's another nice trout, and that's a huge trout. I uh, just wanted to go back and look at that. That's a nice that's six or seven pounds. I think we caught that. He caught that in the riffles. Um, 
and we have I want to show you the photographs I have some photographs of the flies and I just wanted to show you that so these are San Juan worms and some uh, egg patterns all in different colors and the fish I don't know sometimes they're a little choosy they will only take one color um, these are just some regular flies a pheasant tail and a some other flies and it just depends on the hatch that's on the water as to which one of those flies you're going to have to use. These are RS2s and loop wing and mergers. They were um, very useful when I was there in the 90s. And this is a muddler or a woolly buggers and those have got some nice uh, rainbows on, on, on all, all different colors but brown, olive and black are the standards. And then some dry flies, and I have done very well in the summertime with a, a yellow humpy. And I did, uh, and th there are hatches of ants down there. <clears throat> and so ant patterns work very well at times as well. The blue wing olives in the spring. And these are uh, young specials, and they're uh, produced by, uh, there's a guide down there. His name is Andy Kim, and he's a very good fisherman. and. He started tying these midges, these things he calls young specials that just really just thread wrapped around the hook. But they work very well and they catch a lot of fish on them. And so that's what I wanted to show you was the photographs and the articles and the, the back of the book, the appendices that, that you're not going to get from just the um, three chapters that Amazon.com allows you to read. So. I'm going to finish there, and I hope that you enjoyed this short little review, and I hope that you buy the book, and I hope you go to the San Juan River and go fishing, because it's a, it's a beautiful river. So thanks a lot for watching, and have a nice day.